piece of it. And Banton once again defensively. Running the floor. One remaining. And oh, Scotty! Here's Barnes. Quick move driving. Oh, the slam dunk. Fish. Clock down. Makes a move. Denied Barnes. And, and, and everything. He silenced everything with that. Barnes ball. turns the corner. Oh, from the heaven. And a turnover. Pascal leaves it for Scotty. Fluidity. The numbers weren't necessarily there since that time. He's just been outstanding. There's another. Going at Mobley. Gets him into the paint. Count the bucket and the foul for Scotty. Shua guards. Hartenstein scooped up. Three on one break. Scotty. Once again, it's Van Fleet. Barnes now pushing the pace. Right down. Surround. Back in spinning. Oh, slam dunk. What's up, YouTube? It's your name, back in a video. Big, bad, Baron 20, free video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna roll the 6K, and I'm saying today, I am the Bill Dilla on your local corner, and I'll come to y'all with this Scotty Barnes 2K23 new video yes sir this was requested so here it is today i had a good time with this build as always as you see you know i did scotty barnes last year for current gen and next gen so this year it's only right that i do them again you know i appreciate the request i will be having young mellow on the way as well as chris weber that was a great build request too you know as always drop down your request i have a list of like 50 or so names that i i have to do you know but at the end of the day, like, if I see a build that's interesting that I think will be very interesting in the game, I will make it in the game. So, let me know again. And yeah, so, you know, with the Scotty Barnes build, you know, it's always an interesting build. You know, it's always interesting to make these all-around type of builds that are taller. So, I will show y'all. Now, without further ado, let's get right to the actual use for this Scotty Barnes build. So, as you see, he is 6'8", 225 pounds with a 7'3 wingspan and a compact body shape. Yeah, I, I couldn't make him solid, defined, or built just because Scotty don't, he don't got it like that. You feel me? Scotty don't got it like that. He he got the compact build. You feel me? Little arms, you know, big legs types. You know, you know what I'm saying? But for real, for real, with the finishing, you see, I'm going to put his close shot up to a 90. I'm going to put his driving weight up to an 85. going to put his driving dunk up to an 85 as well to get him a... Uh, regular contact dunks then i'm gonna put a standing dunk at an 80 and put his post control at a 75. now for a shooting you want a 76 mid-range shot you're gonna put your three-point shot up to a 75 and then you want to put your free throw rating up to a 72. for your playmaking you want a 75 pass accuracy you want to put your ball handling up to an 80 and you can put your speed of ball all the way up to a 76 just so you get a silver quick first step for your in defense, you want an 80 interior defense and 80 perimeter defense. You want your steal rating to be put up to a 70. You want to put your block rating up to a 62. You want your uh, you also want to upgrade your offense rebound up to a 60 and your defense rebound up to a 70. I don't know. I just had a mental lapse. I just stuttered. That was crazy. Now for your speed, you want an 82 speed. You want to max out your acceleration. You want to put your strength up to a 76 to get a silver brick wall. You want to put your vertical up to an 85 and then you put your stamina up to a 95. And this is pretty much the build, man. So like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this Scotty Barnes build. As you know, Scotty Barnes is a all-around type of player, you know, do-it-all type of player. Man, has been having an off year compared to his other seasons. Well, it's literally his second year. So, you know, compared to last year, you know, it's just not the jump that people have expected. But he still is a great player. And, yeah, I tried to represent this in 2K. So, yeah, once again, comment down below what y'all think about the build, what y'all like about it, what y'all hate about it, what y'all hate about me. And you see with the takeovers, I got finishing moves and extreme clamps for the takeover selected, but you do have access to slashing, sharpshooting, playmaking, and lockdown takeovers. So it's a wide range to choose from. And you see in the shades of, I don't exactly get Scotty Bards, but I do get his teammate. 
Pascal Siakam, man. Pascal's been having a great year for real, for real, by the way. You know, and you see it's an interior finisher. I also got shades of Paolo Banquero, which is interesting. I haven't made a Paolo bill yet, have I? Huh. Yeah, I might have to I might have to get on that if I have it. I'm not sure if I did, but I might have to get on that. But you see, uh, you know, with the badge spread, it's a very balanced badge spread. Now, personally, I would honestly balance out the the attribute boost because it's like you have a good amount of badges in each category but really if you want to you can put like two tour playmaking and then two tour finishing and be okay you know i don't think you need any extra defensive badges but at the end of the day it is up to you you know if you do want extra defensive badges then put all four toward it but i think you'll be okay you know that is scotty barnes strong suit strong suit you know is finishing and defense he man's is long enough to pretty much play defense on all positions as we know he was a point guard and college and high school you know but he's is also big enough to play against power forwards and centers so you know very versatile and with this build i try to represent that you know it's a very versatile build you get to the rim at will you know you can literally penetrate the d like you can penetrate the d with some solid oh you could go crazy i'm telling you you could really really go crazy with this build because it is so long it's lengthy it's seven foot three wingspan six foot eight you know and on top of that it can iso dribble put the ball on the floor you see right there again the passing lanes get a steal you know literally the o cannot understand what my d pause but you know what i'm saying like it's just a great build offensively and defensively now Let's talk about Scotty Barnes. So as I said, he's been having an off year comparably to, uh, you know, what we expect a rookie to jump. Like, you know, similar to how Ben Simmons, you know, his best season was his rookie year and he kept falling off and falling off. You know, a lot of times, like Luca, for example, Luca's rookie season, he averaged like 20. And then the season after he averaged like 27. Now that's an uncanny jump, but most rookies who are expected to be stars like Scotty Barnes is, uh, you know, normally they jump to at least 20 points. If they were averaging 15, they jumped to 20. You know, if they were averaging 10, they jumped to 15. You know, like you're expected to have a jump. And Scotty didn't have a crazy jump at all. You know, I don't, I don't even think his stats this year are better than last year. But we will see. You know, he still has time. You know, we need to stop judging these players too soon. He has a lot of time left in his career. And we'll see what happens. But yeah. That's pretty much the end of the video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're going to roll the 6K, you know what I'm saying? Comment down below any builds y'all want, and I'll eventually get to them. But until then, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Peace.